The video is much more interesting than me. Let's see there. Maybe it's there. So, uh, just for a second, join me with a dream. Uh, and the dream goes something like this. Okay, I didn't find the video, but I might ask while I talk, I might ask my colleague, could you get my presentation up as well? The one that was sitting there. So the dream goes like this, and I'll come back to this. So the dream goes like this. There's a big building in Helsinki, and it's got a carpet, a big carpet. The building's called Kapalitetas, and the carpet is shaped like Finland. And just join, join me on this vision for a second. It's a big carpet. It goes from one end of the building to the other. Hands up in those properly dead. That's in uh, Helsinki. Okay. So, you know, it has history of being quite a cool place. Um, holding quite a few cool events. Uh, one part, one of ten things on a list that Digitize has to do is to raise the visibility of what you're working for every day, which is try to make some money, try to be competitive, try and win business, try and grow what you're doing, and to satisfy your passion for your business, right? One of, our, one of our tasks is to make sure more people, more business is done. And what we are trying to find, it's the last two slides, thank you. So the carpet looks like the map of Finland. Now, I'm asking you just to imagine that for a second, and placed around the carpet, are the regions in Finland, because there is a north, and there is a central Finland, and there is a south, and they all have different values in this game. Um, and in each of the sort of representative areas on that carpet are the regions. And by the regions, I mean the, the public servants that like to go home at, at three o'clock while you guys are still working, but they've made the trip to be there. But surrounded by them are all the people that do the work, the companies, that are trying to make a living and make some business, and they're standing in their regions, and they have their presentations up, and they've got a line in the sand, a date by which they must be looking good, know what they're talking about with customers. The other, the other picture I want you to have is, I'm, for example, out in Silicon Valley, or I'm in Moscow, and I'm trying to bring a customer over and I'm saying to him, I've got three really good locations that would really interest you. I listened to what you said you need and I think I found a solution to your issues. Are you willing to come and have a look at them? And he says, yeah, I can do it, but my diary, I can't really afford three days. One day, I can do it. So I say, okay, don't go to Tampere then. Don't go to this one, but just come to this one. I would much rather him come on one day, meet all of you, see how clever you are, see that this isn't all about a, a utilities, real estate. There is a whole big world here of people that are growing competitive, uh, competition, they are innovative, they are workforce willing to get engaged, they are companies with solutions to their problems at all different levels. So that's the one day. Now for the last year, um, the Invest in Finland, Digitize, Cinea, companies like uh, Schneider, Electric, the 40 company members and nine regions have been working really hard to make sure this, which is our third year, comes together. Interestingly, 600 people attended last year. It was a cool event. There is a video that you can go and look if you look at NDBS 2016 look at the website, there's a, a video there that shows you it's not tin pot. Because there's nothing worse than bringing people across the world to something that's tin pot, right? If they're coming across the world, they do need to be impressed. And what they're impressed by is that the size is manageable, it's not Monaco. The focus is very Nordic. And I have two slides when I talk to them. So when I talk to you, I show you the carpet that's at the top right there. And I'd like you to take your place on the carpet. And when I show you the other slide, it's what I'm telling the customers abroad. So if you could press, uh, yeah, press the other one. I uh, no, not quite. Come back one. There we go. I'm telling them come and see the Nordics when they get here. I'll show Finland. <laughs> <laughs> but having said that, the Nordics are here too, right? Because the Nordics are. Uh, for example, Schneider, their actual region is the Nordic plus 
Baltic's region. They are managing in that terms. So the regions are placed, and right up the middle are the incumbents. They are everywhere. Um, and the data centre operators in Finland are there too. So bring and build your data centre or come and buy our services. The most common thing you get about, uh, feedback you get about an event is uh, no customers, lots of vendors. Uh, we've spent a year, we learned the last three years that we need to deal with that. We've spent the last year, we've had great help from Invest in Finland this year. Last year they weren't involved at all, didn't get it. This year they got it, they're right in the middle. They are trying to bring customers for our data centres, our co-location cases, and also for our regions who have a proposition in data centre. But also, they are potential buyers of your services and your solutions. And what I'm appealing for you to do is to be there, talk to them, and tell them how bloody good you are and how bloody competitive you are, and make them be aware. And if there's only 20 of them and you pick up, I don't know, five new customers, you'd be quite happy, I'm sure. And if you don't, you'll go away thinking, what have I got to do next time to pick up more? And we will get better, and we will compete, and we will win more. <coughs> now, if that sounds like a rallying call, it is because this is a really competitive market. Finland's in a real bun fight now. The Nordics need to have a Nordic picture because the whole world is competing with us. But we do definitely have something to offer here. Now, here's the crack. The crack is, if you're a SME, a little one-man band, uh, attending an event where you have, I think this year there'll be 800 or so and quite a lot of customers attending. Next door, City of Espo are organising an IoT event that runs completely concurrently and shares the same eating space, networking space, uh, and quite many IoT people don't realise they're customers of data centres, but they are, ultimately. So I'm trying to get those two to talk to each other as well. I tried last year, but was told we needed to focus more on data centres business and data centres, cloud technology. And that's what the themes and the tracks will be this year. But co-location operators in Finland will be there. Regions will be there. I hope you guys will surround your region as it's there. And as I said, the crack is, if you're an SME, to take a stand at an event like this is normally very expensive. Go to see your regional development company, Trevio, in this region, and say, I want to be there. And I don't want to pay a 300 euro ticket to be there. I would like to pay less than that, but come on board your stand. And what they will pay will mean that 10 tickets for people from region to be there, you'll get more tickets, more value than buying 10 tickets at 300 euros. And if you want to work that out, you've got an idea what a stand costs. It's not for profit, it's publicly and privately funded. We are not um, ICT Expo, Easy Fairs, looking to make a profit. The cost base of this event is exactly what the shared cost of exhibiting there. So you don't have to exhibit, but if you think you want to, talk to us. Go up there, there are plenty of links to do that. But please be there and don't necessarily pay the 300 euros ticket to be there please talk to your region and say, can my company be on your stand? Can we pay less than 300 euros to be on your stand? That makes sense. And what that means is, Tampere, for example, are represented as a very active, competent cluster on the map of Finland when the customer arrives. And that will help Tampere in its bigger picture to have more DC business, all of us will be aiming for that date. So that's my pitch, you've got it. Please look into it. Please don't dismiss it. Please don't think that it's not quite what I'm all about, because it is. We're all in the industry that benefits if this data center industry grows. And I think you've all got something to input on that day, even if it's showing our international visitors and our potential customers in Finland, in Russia, in Germany, exactly what we have to offer here in Finland. You're part of it. So that's my pitch. I'm going to finish off by saying thank you very much to all the speakers. To be honest with you, your timekeeping has been awesome and I'm the only one that's really overrun badly. But there again, that's Alexi's fault. Thank you very much to the organisers here. Uh, thank you for my pants, XXL. Uh,
I hope to get a chance to chat to you at dinner, and if you don't want to chat to me, then probably I don't want to chat to you either. Um, thank you also for listening to what I think has been quite a heavy, quite intense day, day. Um, but I also think those presentations have been bang on topic because you listened. Um, and again, I say thanks to all the organisers, the guys running around in the background, and I hope to see some of you in the sauna, and I hope you felt this was a good day. I certainly did. Thanks very much. <laughs>